Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Dr. Milap Kamal Singh, third year radiology postgraduate resident from Subharti Medical College. My paper topic for my paper presentation is imaging in non-traumatic subarachnoid hemorrhage. Objectives of the study to determine the role of CT angiography in evaluation of subarachnoid hemorrhage in non-traumatic patients. To determine the cause and location of bleed to determine the concordance between the surgical findings and CT angiographic findings. Introduction. Non-traumatic subarachnoid hemorrhage accounts for 3 to 5% of all strokes. Approximately 80% of these are caused by ruptured intracranial saclo aneurysms and fusiform, which are rare. CT angiography is recommended as first choice because of its fast scanning speed and convenience. CT angio has a reported sensitivity of 97 to 100% for detection of intracranial aneurysms. Accurate evaluation of the morphologic features of cerebral aneurysms and the associated circulation is critical for selection and optimization of the endovascular and surgical technique. Materials and methods. It is a prospective observation study done on 50 patients. The study period was from October 2022 to October 2022. All patients of any age group refer to the radiology department with clinical suspicion of non-traumatic subarachnoid hemorrhage. All patients of any age group with incidental finding of aneurysms on CT angiography. Image acquisition protocol. All the study was done on CT, all the study was done on Philips 128 slides, and these were the configurations used. Results. CT brain angiography revealed aneurysms in 37 patients out of 50 patients. Age distribution were 72% below 55 and 28% above 55. Gender distribution was 57% in female, which were more than male. In male, there were 43% type of aneurysms. Mm -hmm. uh, those 40 aneurysms, 38 were saccular and two were fusiform. Location of aneurysms. Most commonly, the aneurysm was found in MCA and ICA, which were 10. And in ACA were 9. And in ACOM were 5. In Bacillar were 4. And in PC and PCOM were 2. CT angiography revealed 40 aneurysms in 37 patients and does not reveal its source of bleeding in 13 patients. Most of the aneurysms were identified at bifurcation and trifurcations, and 10 were identified of internal carotid artery, 10 were identified at middle cerebral artery, and 9 were identified at anterior cerebral artery. Few of them identified in the branches of basilar artery, and two were basilar top aneurysms. Two giant aneurysms were also found, one of them was at the clinoid segment of internal cerebral artery measuring 18 into 13 mm and 15 into 15 mm at middle cerebral artery. CT angiography also revealed additional findings. Two patients showed AVM malformations and one of the patients showed with a large angioma. 13 patients underwent clipping and the concordance between the radiological findings and intraoperative findings was 97%. Two of, the, two of them showed small blebs in the internal cerebral artery and middle cerebral artery, which was not found on CT angio. These are a few examples. On the right side, we can see a large intraparenchymal hematoma in the right temporal lobe with subarachnoid hemorrhage in the sulcal spaces. And on the left side, there's a 3D reconstructed image showing a trilobed aneurysm at the clinoid portion of the right cerebral artery. In the another patient, uh, we can see the on non enhanced axial plane CT scan. We can see a well defined rounded area of hyperdensity in the right in the supracellular region on right side. And on CT angio, we can see a focal contrast filled aneurysm or pouching with neck of 3.4 mm. And on the coronal section, we can see the tip projecting superior medley is noted arising from the C5 segment of IC on right side. And we can see a blood advertising hyperdensity in the vessel system on the right side. In another patient, uh, we can see the hyperdensity in the left cerebral fissure in the tentorium cerebelli, internal hemispheric fissure. And on the CT angio, we can see a secular aneurysm arising from the supraclinoid segment of left ICA. In another patient, uh, we can see a uh, well defined rounded contrast filled out watching noted arising from the supraclinoid portion of left. Uh, we, in, the right, in the M1 segment of MCA. 
and the few sections below we can see another aneurysm rising from the left ICA, which we can also see on the coronal image. Uh, this was a diagnosis as a fusiform aneurysm. Discussion, CT angiography of brain proved to be an excellent tool in the diagnosis of aneurysms in patients with subarachnoid hemorrhage. In this study, CT angio reached 100% specificity and 98% sensitivity. Another advantage of CT angiography of brain was the amount of additional information acquired that might be helpful in neurosurgical intervention. Information such as the distance from the vessels to the skull, base, or clonard process. Its ability to obtain various projections using 3D CT reconstructions in the MIP and demonstrating the neck, shape, and orientation of the aneurysms. CT angiography of brain thus provides valuable additional information prior to the possible therapeutic intervention. These were the references from which I prepared my paper. Thank you.